everyone this is DA from AI Academy and today we are going to see what is a kernel or a null space of a linear operator. In the previous video we have talked about what is a linear operator. So here we have T a linear operator from N to M and now we are going to define what is meant by a kernel or the null space. So so if I am taking an element from that space n, that is n1, so t maps that element n1 to a zero element of m. Like this, I have another element n2 in the space n, and t maps that element n2 to zero element of m again. And there is an element n3 in n, and it maps to some element of m, that is m1. So some elements of n are mapped to the zero element of m, and some are elements and some elements of n are mapped to other elements of m. So the set of those elements of n which are mapped onto the zero element of m is a subspace of n. So we can write, so kernel of t, k-e-r-t, is the set of those elements of n which are mapped onto the zero element of m. So this is not only a subset of n but also a subspace of that n and how do we know that this is a subspace of n so we can prove this that we are going to take two elements from the kernel of t that is and what is a kernel t that kernel t is a set that contains elements of n which are mapped onto the zero element of m so we are going to take two elements of kernel of t let's say we have x1 and x2 elements of kernel of t as we are ta taking the element from kernel of t, so when t applied on x1, we have 0, and when t applied on x2, we have 0, because elements that are mapped onto the 0 are in this set. So we have this, the mapping of x1 is 0, and the mapping of x2 is 0, by definition. So if I'm going to write this for any two elements of the field, and the equation is... So this, because t is a linear operator, so this will be equal to... also equals to... This so because t of x1 is 0, so 0 times any element from the field equals to 0, and tx2 is 0, so this will be 0. So 0 plus 0, we get 0. So if the mapping of a1x1 plus a2x2 equals to 0, so we can say that a1x1 and a2x2 is also an element of kernel of t because kernel of t is, an, is a set that contains those elements which are mapped onto the 0 element of m. So this thing implies that a1x1 plus a2x2 is also a member of kernel of t. So if this thing happens, then we can say that kernel of t is a subspace. So kernel of t is not only a set of n, but also a subspace of n. So we have proved that kernel of t is a subspace of the linear space n. And this is what the kernel and the null space of a linear operator is. So this is for now. We're looking for more such videos. Then you can subscribe to this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos. We will meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye.